Hi everybody, my name is Katie, I'm the Introverted Reader and today's video is going to be a review, haven't done a review in a while, on our February book club pick of the month for the Introverted Reader book club and that is The Bells by Daniel Clayton. This book is set in sort of like a fantastical version of like New Orleans and it's basically about these girls called The Bells and their job is to keep people beautiful like they can change people's skin tone their hair color or like make their waist smaller for women make their breasts bigger stuff like that because um because the whole mythology of it is that the god of the sky and the goddess of beauty fell in love and they created the human race and because the goddess of beauty was paying more attention to her children than she was to the god of the sky he punished the humans so basically the humans um have horrible gray skin straw like hair um red eyes they just they're just not all the beauty has been taken from them and basically the goddess of beauty created the bells like these beautiful girls that have this like arcane magic within their blood um, from her to like enhance people's um, appearances and whatnot. So that's sort of the um, general idea of this world. Our main character, Camellia, and her bell sisters at the very start of the book are being taken to the palace to take this like um, initiation. It's like a trial um, sort of thing because they all want to compete to be the favorite you know to work in the palace with the queen and the princess and you know because it's the most like high up position other than the royal family that you could possibly get and obviously Camellia I think that's how you pronounce her name Camellia Beauregard I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her name if you've read this and I'm pronouncing it wrong please let me know but um, yeah, basically they all want to be the favorite of the queen and um, you know things happen and then um, and then the queen sort of asks Camilla to do something that um, is completely against everything that she stands for as a bell because the bells all have these specific rules that they live by and they're very, very important. Like there are just certain lines as a bell that you just cannot cross. And the queen sort of asks Camilla to do something and it would mean her crossing a few of those lines. And uh, she sort of begins to find out that maybe being the favorite is not all it's cracked up to be and just maybe being a bell in general is just really really not um what it's cracked up to be um so yeah because like um the other like characters in this book like the ones that aren't the bells are obsessed with them like they follow them everywhere and they have all these like beauty tokens and they're constantly harassing them and it opens up a lot of discussions um, in this book just really about um, beauty and like beauty standards and stuff like that because people are constantly asking the bells like what's the latest trend in hairstyles and hair color like what um, is the queen's favorite waist size like the queen literally has this rule where your waist can't be above or below like a certain amount or something like that and your breasts can only be like a certain size or something like that and it's just oh it opens up a lot of questions because it's just like if you're not a certain way then you're not like perfect if you know what I mean and that that definitely like highlights that in this book and our main character Camellia I mean there's a there are times when you can see that she's not completely comfortable with changing appearances I mean she does it because it's her job and because obviously it's who she is and you know she wants to be favored you know she wants to be you know she wants to be the favorite one and there's so many times in this book where she's asked to do things and um obviously that's the whole premise of the book like I just mentioned you know the queen asked her to do something later on in the story which I'm not going to spoil because that would be a spoiler but even just like um with like other clients and stuff um you know there's times where she sort of steps back and goes mm, but like you already look beautiful and like every time she said that they'd be like oh no 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 I look terrible I look terrible I just, blah, blah, blah. like these people are obsessed with being beautiful and it's definitely very very scary the way some get on and the, how they're so obsessed you know with looking a certain way um and the princess the princess in this book oh my goodness she is beyond unhinged okay like she i got lipstick on my teeth it would not be one of my videos would it 
if I didn't have lipstick on my teeth. Oh well. As I was saying, the princess in this book completely, completely unhinged. Like she is so like obsessed with looking perfect that she's literally going mad and it's just wow <laughs> um i will say as well i will give a couple trigger warnings just um as well there i will give a trigger warning for um if you are squeamish when it comes to like medical procedures or needles or like blood or anything like that i did get a little bit queasy sometimes because that sort of stuff kind of triggers me a little bit so i kind of had to be all i kind of had i skimmed over the the part it's not all of it it's just like certain parts and i just remember skimming over those like certain parts and just having to like sit for a minute and think about a cute puppy and <laughs> you know just like take a couple minutes but um and as well sexual assault i have to give a trigger warning for sexual assault in this because there is a scene um where our main character lands herself in quite a dangerous situation with a man who is a complete nut or sleaze and needs to choke um yeah there's a little like hints of romance in this i'll say but uh I was very confused by the the love interest like he was just he wasn't really around very much and didn't really know his true motives if you know what I mean like he was there and he was really really nice and it's just like what do you even want why are you even here um probably could have done without him to be honest but he does play quite a, a good part later on in the story which I'm not going to give away but again, like I said, it opens a lot of discussion about like beauty standards and how people can be like so obsessed with like beauty and everything. And <laughs> it really got me thinking, like I was sitting in bed just like thinking about it and just like thinking about all those times on Instagram. I just, you know, I'm in a full face of makeup all the time, even when I'm filming right now and I have to have like two filters on everything. So it's just like, you know. It just made me think an awful lot about those things. But overall, um, other than that, the story itself was really, really um, interesting. Like, I was really, really sucked into it. And, like, the deeper you got, the more dark it got. Like, there's definitely some very, very dark aspects of this. You know, like I said, people's, like, the, the people of this city are obsessed with these bells. And it's just, like, if they don't go and see them every once in a while, then you know it's like I don't want to be ugly I don't want to have gray hair like it's just it's it's almost it's just um, how can I articulate this it's just very very eye-opening and very very scary if you sit and think about it for too long do you know what I mean it has been about two weeks since I finished this I can't remember everything but I do remember the ending and the ending was just like <gasps> but like um I don't know if Daniel Clayton has wor is working on a sequel or if there is going to be a sequel coming out or whatever has she written it is it there let me know I don't know but I do definitely want to continue on with this um story and this world because I do want to know what happens and this cover is absolutely stunning like I keep looking at it and I'm like oh my goodness this is beautiful I mean overall I give this four stars because um, it sucked me right into the story. I really, really like the characters. Some characters I could live without, like even the main character sometimes. She could be a little, um, she could be a little too absorbed in wanting everybody to like her. Like she spent way too much time wanting people to like her instead of like opening her eyes and seeing what was going on around her because a lot of dangerous things were going on around her and several people tried to warn her about it and she just wouldn't see. Um, so yeah, overall four stars. And like it says right there, beauty can be deadly. It really can. So yes, the bells, four stars. <laughs> that was our February book club pick of the month. I'm really, really glad that we picked that one um, because it was one that I've been wanting to read for a while. Um, I will make um, another video um, about um, what we're going to be doing in March because I don't really talk about the book club that much on on my youtube channel um i'll try and leave a link down there um to the fa to the facebook page and as well my instagram down there because you know you should follow me on instagram i post a lot you know just random stuff on there i mean it's not all that exciting but you know anyway that's my review i'm gonna start i'm gonna stop rambling now um i will have my february wrap up coming up in the next week or so and i will see you guys in my next video